I'm just so excited to be here with you all today and share a little insight into my process. Yes, I'm super excited. We're going to jump into Lightroom and we're just gonna edit a couple photos together. With these images, I'm actually gonna skip all of that and come down here to our color mixer and make adjustments within HSL. For those of you that know me, you know that HSL is my best friend forever and ever 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 because color plays such a huge role in my work. So hue really has to do with what kind of color is it? By dragging the green slider to the left, we're making it a lot warmer. By dragging it to the right, we're making it a lot cooler. So, you know, if we're doing the same thing with green, if we want really low saturation, that's really gonna get rid of that green tone within our image. If we want a lot of green and we slide this all the way up, it's really gonna bump up that color pretty significantly. So I'm gonna go into saturation and I'm gonna bump it up pretty significantly here, but I don't want the sky to look super fake. So I'm gonna go back into the luminance and then I'm just gonna increase it just like slightly. So I'm just making these small adjustments. I want this to be more blue, the sky, without necessarily affecting her. So go in here and I am going to select the sky. Now I'm gonna go in here and I'll just decrease the temperature to bring in a little bit more of that blue. We also wanna do something that affects only the subject and not the sky. So in a similar manner, we can go back to our masking tool and we can add a new mask. This time, I'm gonna select the subject. I feel like it crushed it. I love these tools so much. I'm just increasing the exposure a little bit, bringing out the shadows. We have like a pretty great image. I mean, we went from this to this. Let's play around with this image. Bump up those flowers a little bit because they were really vibrant and colorful. And then I'm also just gonna increase the luminance of the green. So yeah, huge before, difference. after. And so this is good. only using HSL. Let's now jump to this photo. Here, you know, this is another image where we can do something similar to what we've done before, where we just kind of jump down to HSL and we bring in the blues. But what I'm noticing when I look at this photo is that I really feel like this is kind of like a powerful moment. And so I wanna do a better job of highlighting that. Here, you'll notice that at the bottom, there is a little space that says people. This is who I wanna select, so. I'm gonna work with her. And as it detects her features here, we'll notice that this comes up. So I'm gonna do facial skin, eye sclera, and I'm gonna do hair. We're gonna make sure that this is checked here. We're gonna create four separate masks. The very uh, first thing that I want to do in here is work with that face skin. So I'm gonna go in once that's selected and just increase it a little bit. And then we'll go to the eye sclera. I just kind of like bump that up a tiny bit to make the eye pop. Now we'll go to our iris and pupil. I'm just going to increase the exposure a little bit here again. With the hair, I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit. That just feels so much better to me. And again, toggling between the before and after. Yeah, yeah, that before and after really shows. Now let's go over to mm -hmm. Photoshop. I really like the way that they're sort of framed within the stems of all these flowers, but this girl is bothering me a little bit. So <laughs> I'm just going to make a loose selection here, and we're gonna try to get rid of just this stem only. So here, generative fill, generate. Hey, like, that's, that, that's crazy really wild. This is just a really great way of using generative fill to just like slightly zhuzh an image a little bit. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. I had fun. That was amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so for all much. your pro tips. <laughs>